In this video, we're gonna make some little heart-shaped um, bride and groom cake toppers, or cupcake toppers, I should say. Now, I'm gonna use some colors that are ready-made, and I'm gonna dye a flesh color myself, but I bought some black ready-made. I'm just using the Renshaw's one. Now, if you dye your own black, um, it can change the consistency to being really soft and sticky, so I'll buy that ready-made. Um, I've got pink because I'm going to have a bit of a pink colour theme and then white and I'll dye some of the white into flesh colour. I do apologise, I have got um, food colouring all over my hands that I don't seem to be able to wash off from earlier today so I do apologise. So I've dusted my work surface with some cornflour so that my fondant doesn't stick. Now I've just dyed a flesh colour here and I'm just going to roll it out reasonably thin not too thin that it stretches when you pull it apart. So this is for the lady one that we're gonna use, the flesh colour. Now I'm using a heart-shaped cutter. Now, if you've got just one heart-shaped cutter, just use one and we can use it twice. Um, what I've got is another heart-shaped cutter that's slightly less arched at the top. So we're gonna use both of these, but we're gonna use this one for the initial background piece. So I'm going to cut out a few of these, ready for my cupcakes. Oh, squeeze another one out there. And for the back, we're going to leave those to start to harden a little bit. For the background of the male cupcake toppers, we're going to do it in white. So we're just going to roll this out the same thickness as the other one. So we're going to cut out our hearts again. So I've just rolled out a little bit more white fondant for to go over like my peachy coloured ones. And what I'm going to do is taking a textured rolling pin, I'm just going to roll over to create a pattern. This one's just a little Venice Cake Company one that I've found. So I'm going to push this on, rolling a pattern in to my fondant. I don't, I'm not too worried about doing the whole thing because I only need a little bit. So we're going to cut some hearts out. Try and get the hearts where the pattern's kind of the deepest that you can see it the most. Okay, so we've got those. And what I'm going to do now is, this is going to go over the top of that one, but as you can see, it completely covers it, but they've been the same size. So this one, this cutter that I've got, that's slightly less curved at the edges, I'm just going to use to cut just the top little pieces off like so. And I do that on all of them. And just using a small brush, I'm going to just put a small amount of water on the bottom section of each of my peachy coloured hearts. And they're still quite soft at the moment. If you want to let them harden a little bit, you can do. And I'm going to line that up so the points come together at the bottom. So it goes on there, like that. So you just want a little bit of the peach colour showing over the top. Try not to squash the pattern out when you're putting them on. So what we're going to do now is taking a little bit of white fondant again. I'm just going to roll it into a nice thin line and what we're going to do is we're going to just put this along the edge the top edge of the white so try and follow the line along if you can and then we're going to cut it off either side just tucking it in just make sure there's a bit of water under there to stick it down I'm just using a modelling tool or a cocktail stick. We're just going to put little indentations in along the top. And we're going to do that with all of them. So taking a little bit of pink. We only need a small amount. 
I'm just going to roll a long piece like so. And what I'm going to do is just flatten it. And I'm just squashing it with my fingers to thin it out. If you want, you can roll it on the board with a rolling pin. And what I'm going to do is start to curl the end up to create a little rose. Obviously, the longer the piece that you've rolled, the bigger your rose is going to become. I'll just put a little bit of water on to try and keep it together. And what I'm going to do is put a bit of water on the back. Again, you can use edible glue. And I'm just going to push that into the corner, like so. Hopefully, you can see that. I'll lift it up and show you. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'll repeat that on all of them, but then just let them set. And then when they're hard, it just makes them easier to push in the top of your buttercream on a cupcake. So we'll move on to the men's ones next. So we're just taking a bit of the black modelling paste now. Not modelling paste, sorry, fondant. It's just normal fondant. And we're just going to roll it out. It's a bit softer with it being black. So it's a little bit stickier to use. And I'm going to cut some hearts out. Again, using the same cutter I used for the white bits. And I'm going to go back to my whites. And I'm just going to put a line or two lines down the front of each one. Oh, I've done that one a little bit wide. You can be a little bit more careful with yours and spend a little bit longer on making sure they're nice and even. And I'm just going to take some tiny black balls of the fondant. I'm just going to run a line of water down the middle of each of my hearts. So really small little balls. You probably won't be able to see them very well to put them on. And you're just going to put them on each one. So these are the little buttons. You shouldn't need to go all the way down because we're going to be doing like a suit jacket that will cover the rest of it. You might even find that these bottom ones end up being covered. So taking the black heart now, I'm going to cut a triangle from the top. I've turned it upside down. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just cut this bit in half. We'll use these as the little lapels on the jacket. I'm going to put a little bit of water down either side. And then see if you can line that up at the bottom. Fit that on there like that. So now, these little bits that you've cut out, we can stick on either side. So one there, I'll put the water on here. And the other one on there, like so. Okay, and now we just need a little bow tie and then that one's done. So I've put a little bit of water there ready. You can use whichever colour you want for your bow tie. So I'm just gonna use the pink again. I'm just gonna roll it out. And I'm just gonna get a little heart cutter for my bow tie. So we're gonna cut out two heart shapes, like so. I'm gonna stick these so that they've come in from the center where you put a little bit of water. And again, I'll put a little bit of water just in the middle. You can put an indentation at either side if you like. I'm just using the bottom of my paintbrush to do that. And using a bit of the pink that's left, I'm just gonna roll a small ball. I'm just gonna drop that into the center like so. Now, I'll finish all those, but those are your two two different designs um, and they just they just look nice on the top of cupcakes thank you for watching if you liked this video and would like to see more please click on the images of the other videos suggested also please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen you can also visit my cake website and my facebook page to see more cakes and ideas